Let's go! Mario, a staple of Nintendo, iconic, recognizable, developers everywhere dream of creating a mascot so endearing, an IP so powerful. Fans wanted more. It wasn't enough, but then. This definitely scared somebody as a child. These games not only provided more Mario, but fleshed out its world, expanded on the personalities, Mario? and even introduced new iconic faces. Speaking of other Nintendo games, why hasn't Splatoon received a new entry in its series? Well, why hasn't your favorite creator uploaded a new video? Your guess is as good as mine. Splatoon 4? I'm not here to beat the dead horse video ideas here. We all know what we expect out of the new installment. We're here for unique, fun ideas. Okay, it is kind of tempting. Nintendo tends to keep their games first party, and Splatoon is no exception. As a result, it barely gets a chance at reaching more people due to its limited accessibility and... Splat, splat, splat. Marketing. So what's a way to spread the reach of the franchise while still being within Nintendo's comfort zone? The mobile market, of course. Pocket Camp, Mario Run, Mario Kart Tour, Pokemon Go Run Into a Wall. The closest thing Splatoon's gotten is NSO. You can't fool me, I know this isn't a game. Now we could just make a Tamagotchi Splatoon edition, but as far as novelties go, it scores lower than Ultra Stamp's viability. Let's make something more engaging, something that'll showcase Splatoon's weapons and core feature. Painting. Let's make a mo- Let's make a strategy game. Imagine Rabbids or XCOM. A hint of positioning and a hint of RNG. But that alone isn't unique enough, so let's emphasize what's so important in Splatoon's multiplayer. Map control? and intel. Grid format, four controllable characters, turn-based, the amount of actions you can take are displayed with ink tanks, and fights will be HP-based. If this sounds like I just described literally any strategy game, yeah, you're right. So we have a formula for a pretty straightforward game here, but right now its uniqueness reflects SV's terrain. Wow, I can really feel the Switch hardware with this one. Vision will be a huge bottleneck. Unlike the actual game, beacons and point sensors will actually be crucial in making sure you have enough units left to actually fight the enemy. Enemies stay submerged unless they're moving, so you better pay attention to their movements during their turn. Yeah, you should probably turn off Netflix if you intend to win. Weapons will have different attack and painting ranges, and focus on clever management to safely get kills without getting traded out. Due to ink efficiency issues, you may allocate one weapon to painting and creating a smooth trail for other weapons such as Roller to sneak up and get into kill range without wasting ink. If this sounds a little too attacker sighted, you'd be right. So to compensate, there will be defensive mechanics and sub-weapons that will aid defenders as well. Weapon ranges will vary. Shots have good kill and paint range, chargers and blasters have RNG and terrible close range but very powerful long range, and so on. Sub-weapons may help clear out an area in bulk or mark opponents on your radar to make planning attacks more smooth. Special weapons? Yeah, they kill things. I would mention gear slots and potential modes, but there's already been enough yapping for an admittedly generic concept, so let me give you a neat conclusion. They should make this a gacha game. Just sell off unique kits with nice live 2D and this stuff would sell. This idea is more incomplete than Cyberpunk's release, but for a fictional game idea that'll never be made, it's an alright baseline. Let's just pretend this was a game prepared and sent into the oven, but it auto-locked and there is no key. I'm sure future ovens will have that, don't question it. Salmon Run is infinitely replayable, unless you're on spawning grounds. But you're always so vulnerable, so reliant on team coordination, with unchanging terrain and limited customization due to set or simply random weapons. Don't you wish for an experience where you can be overpowered? Yep, if you couldn't guess, it's Doom. Without the graphic imagery, it is Splatoon after all. The story? Who cares, you're literally ripping through hordes and hordes of salmon and the story doesn't f***ing matter. Salmon Run already has plenty of established enemy types that would fit perfectly into the formula with room for much more unique ones as well. You've got an infinite zip caster, your d-pad can swap your main weapon, each with individual ink tanks. It becomes a desperate crawl trying to hunt down priority bosses and not getting your ankles broken in the process. Some rooms will be more grounded while others may be more vertical, emphasizing the Zipcaster. Oh, have I mentioned Zipcaster is your sub weapon? Yeah, that means that you get to have actual specials. Special weapons should feel powerful and feel like they serve a purpose, like Ultra Stamp, Killer Whale, and Triple Splashdown. 
Maybe this is the one time I'll actually appreciate Triple Splashdown. Customization of your main weapons and specials should be a key feature, but the first core would be the Decavitator, your reliable melee, 96 scale for consistent DPS, Range Blaster for slow but insane burst damage, and Explosher for its ability to fight certain bosses as well as crowd control. This should really emphasize quick thinking as you'll be forced to constantly swap your weapons around to keep up with the different bosses and hordes. The weapons are specifically slow and clunky, but with it comes a sense of power. Other weapons will follow the same philosophy with the introduction of Dynamo, Painbrush, Wellstring, with the one exception being Mini Splatling due to the emphasis on constantly being on the move while fighting. Certain rooms are just exploration and objective based while some others may force you to beat all the boss summoners as infinite hordes of chum approach you. There will occasionally be story bosses which will be unique and focus on movesets rather than just being a bullet sponge. It will more closely follow Splatoon's traditional boss format while having multiple gimmicks that will lean towards challenging a resource management and mobility utilizing the Zipcaster. I'm going to cut this idea off because it sounds fun as hell on paper but is a far cry from what spin-off that Nintendo would ever be willing to make. A story game is a pretty basic idea that literally anybody can think of for any game ever, so I'm going to try and keep this brief. One quick Inkpedia search says that the events such as the Great Turf War, the founding of major cities, only happened a hundred years ago. But what were the first Inklings like? way before wars and society. The wastelands present in Splatoon 3 alone already give a sense of wonder. Relics of a kinder past lay amidst the barren desert. Seeing how these are the remains of a world once fully submerged, exploring unique terrain and uncovering the past, this concept alone would be interesting even outside of the Splatoon franchise. The gameplay won't be the main focus here, it's just filler to introduce more world building. Open world format with discovering new locations and wildlife as the focus. This isn't even Splatoon anymore, it's just another Ubisoft game centered on an alien planet while having the mileage of being able to use evolved sea creatures for design. You can introduce grotesque four-legged sea monster designs which you would defeat with your trusty sword. Is this Monster Hunter? This sounds like Monster Hunter. <laughs> We have all the assets we need, we just have to get fluid, copy-paste gameplay, lore, and a AAA budget for this game that no one really cares about and probably can't even run on Switch hardware. And these are the best half-baked ideas that definitely could use a whole video to expand on but it's just not worth talking about that I thought of. If you're itching for some more ideas, I won't elaborate on- ah, there they are. Table Turf Mobile Game, it's a safe bet and people like TCGs, right? Splatoon Idol Sim, somebody would have begged for this. Splatoon Racing, with a hint of unoriginal ideas and a Splatoon 4? Oh, wait, 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 no, please, I, I can explain, I just wanted to.